Hi, this is Team Restorator Apps. In this video, I will be showing you how to successfully use our plugin WP Forms MemberPress Registration to register your users or customers to your MemberPress membership levels using the Form Builder WP Forms. Now, um, this will be the basic setup. So first, we will you need to make sure that you've successfully activated and enabled WP Forms. WP Forms, our plugin WP Forms member press registration. Um, your chosen payment gateway. This for this example, we will be using WP Forms Stripe and the WP Forms user registration to successfully register your users to your WordPress site. Additionally, make sure that you've also activated member press. Once you've done that, we'll go ahead and create our form. You can start creating a new form using this add new option here, or you can simply use a form that you've already created before. And um, since I, I've already created one, so I'm just gonna show you the important fields that I've, I've added to this user registration form. So this is it. I'm gonna hit an edit to show you. So you need to make sure that you have the name, username, email, password is optional, that depends on you. And then we need to add a drop down item on their payment field. So this is it. your total field and your Stripe credit card field if you're using Stripe. So um, with regards to the drop down item on their payment field, you need to make sure that you've added here the memberships you, the member press memberships you've already set up under member press. So make sure that it matches the name and the price of those memberships you've prepared. So like here, you can see that I've added bronze. And since this is a basic setup, I've made sure that this the billing cycle for these memberships are set, set to one-time payments or lifetime payments. So you can see here that the terms in the membership title matches that items that I've added in my drop-down item. And I've renamed my field to choose membership level. Once you've already, once you've prepared that, all you need to do is hit unsave. And then we can go to our settings. And for the member press registration, this is where you set up our plugin. So what you need to do here is to make sure that the field selected under here is the drop down item in which you've added your member press membership level in your form. By the way, when creating your form, if you're already you're only selling one membership level, I would suggest using this field, the single item field. And like what we've done previously, you need to make sure the item, the item matches the membership title and the terms you've created in your member press. So now we're, we're going to go back to our settings and select the drop down item in which we've added the member press membership level earlier. You can click on this if you want to enable offline payment, but if you're charging your customers, you need to leave this blank. The next important settings you need to work on would be the user registration. So just make sure that it ma you're able to match the fields for this. So for username, username, name, password, and you can set up the role. Then after you prepare that, you, you only need to hit on the save button. So now the last thing that we need to do is to make sure that our payment is set up correctly. So since I am using Stripe, 
I've made sure that I click on the enable Stripe payments. You can add a payment description if you want. And since this is not a recurring, since this is only a one-time payment membership, you don't have to click on this. Just click on enable Stripe payments and then you're good to go. Simply save your form and we'll embed it in a new page and test it. So this is the page where I've embedded my where I've embedded my WP forms. And I'm gonna simply create a test account for that. So I've already filled out my form. I'm just gonna submit that. After the confirmation, I'll go and check ahead my users. And as you can see, they've been added to successfully to the member press membership level that I signed up for. You should be also you should also be able be able to see it under subscriptions. And since it is a basic setup, a one-time payment, it should be under non-recurring here. And you can also see it under transactions. So that is it. And if you have questions around how to set up our plugin, please don't hesitate to email us. Thanks.